think I finally reset my sleep schedule. Tonight will be the true test. Do you remember the other day when I said that we should collaborate? For starters, let's do this. Send me a video. The format doesn't matter. If I can watch it, I'll be able to put it in the video. And tell me what you think the purpose of life is. I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna do, if we're gonna ask life's questions, let's start with the biggest one and then move on to the easy ones. And that is what you can do with 10 hours of sleep and a whole cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very delicate operation. When you have as little facial hair as I do, you have to be very careful when you shave it. <laughs> Not bad. Holy cow, it's freezing. I don't have a coat. I gotta get home, but check out that sunset. Oh, mama. It's 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, no wonder I'm freezing. So it's not like, oh, it's, yeah? it's, not like it's unusual to say. You almost don't even need to take a time lapse, eh? Look how fast the clouds are moving. What's extra funny about these drones is that back in the day, these would be UFOs. You'd look up and be like, oh my God, there's an alien. Monday night at eight, I will not be late. It is so great. <laughs> <laughs> this Memorial Day, there's a basketball tournament in Dallas, Texas. I just bought plane tickets for our Adventure Archives trip in June. Can you guess the location? It's not hard to guess. But Memorial Day weekend, tickets are always much more expensive. So my thought is maybe I'll drive to Dallas. Should I? Here's my options. Should I spend the money and get a plane ticket? Should I drive in one day? Should I drive over the course of two days and drive two six hour ones? And if I do that, should I stay at a hotel or should I go to a camping spot? So that way I don't have to pay for a hotel. Are you asking me or are you asking them? I'm asking you, but I want to know what you think too. I remember a basketball tournament that you went to that you drove like all night long to and felt horrible and sprained your ankle so badly you could not move. See, this is why I asked her. <laughs> I forgot about that, yeah. I think that 12 hours of driving, even if split up over two days, is not appropriate when you're going to an athletic event. This is absolutely correct. Okay, I don't need your opinions anymore. <laughs> I actually totally forgot I was gonna have dinner at my dad's house tonight. <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore, but I'm gonna go there and hang out for a bit. Don't think I've forgotten about my songwriting. Come back home, write a song. Thank you to my dad for a dinner number two, which I will probably turn into lunch number one tomorrow. I have a very small amount of time to get that song done. I'm going to limit it to 30 minutes. Oh, you know what I'll do? I will make a Super Nintendo song today. So what they have are these things called sound fonts. They rip the sounds from the games and then you can put them in your music editor. So today's music will be from the video game Chrono Trigger.
Okay, that was 30 minutes on the dot. I'm just going to lengthen this a little bit and then it's good to go. This is not a masterwork or anything, but not bad. By the way, I know it's pronounced Euros. I just call it a gyro because <laughs> it's funny. And then when I was living in New York, everybody called it a gyro. And there was a sizable Greek population. The, the, they finally gave up. <laughs> I guess said, so. Okay, go ahead, call, call whatever in, you want. <laughs> I lived in Astoria, which is like the Greek town. And they called them gyros there too. Yeah. So I was like, okay, give me a gyro.